Greetings Options Traders. Today is Friday, February 24, 2023, and the time is 12.52 p.m. Pacific Time. There are approximately seven and a half minutes left in the trading session. Today is Expiration Friday, and I wanted to show you one of my positions that is set to expire in about seven minutes. The trade is the U.S. Oil Fund ETF, ticker symbol USO. At the bottom of this page, you will see my position. It is a short put position, and the trade was done on February 3rd, which was 21 days ago. So three weeks ago, I had sold this put option. The strike price is $58, and I received a premium of 45 cents per share each contract controls 100 shares of the underlying etf so i received 45 dollars for my put option and right now the time is 12:55. there are five minutes remaining uso is trading at around 67 dollars and 11 cents it is up 73 cents today the straight price of my put option is $58. So here is my option right there. By definition, my put option is out of the money because the market price of USO is higher. It is at 67. So that means at this point, the risk of assignment is very low, which means that I'm really not expecting USO to drop down to $58 in the next five minutes of course that could happen but not likely this etf is based on the price of u.s oil futures it is not a stock so i don't have to worry about earnings therefore i am definitely not worried that it's going to drop nine dollars in the next four minutes but i wanted to show this to you under bid there's a zero and under ask there's a 32 cents ask and this is very annoying because at this point, the ask price should be very close to zero. See this one down here? This option is a 63 strike option. This option is $4 away from the market price. And it has a ask price of a cent, which is exactly where it should be. My short put, on the other hand, has a strike price of $58, which is even farther from the market price right now. But a seller submitted an ask price of $0.32. Cents. So I'm obviously not going to pay $0.32 cents to buy back my option. If it was $0.01, cent, I might consider it just to remove the risk of assignment. But like I said, the strike price of my option is $58, and oil right now is at $67. So there are exactly two minutes left until expiration. I am definitely not paying 32 cents to close my trade. So I wanted to show this to you in case you encounter a similar situation for your trades. If your short option is several dollars from the market price of the underlying, and there's a very, very low risk of the stock or ETF going down to your strike price and the clock is ticking there's no need for you to waste money by overpaying to buy back your short option you could submit a bid for one cent and see if any of these people take it but if they don't just leave it alone do not pay the market price to buy back your short option you are simply wasting money so the time is 12:59 clock is ticking i'm on the pacific time zone so the trading session ends at one o'clock there are about 20 24 seconds remaining so i'm just going to hang tight and wait for the closing bell to ring and wait for my option to expire eight seconds remaining counting down three two one that was the closing bell so, USO closed at 
$67.10. My short put option remained out of the money, so it expired perfectly. So the profit for my trade is $45. I did not spend any money to buy back my option. I simply let it expire, so I got to keep 100% of the opening credit. That was a good trade. Thank you for watching.